Hey everyone, this is Julie here and this is the promised uh, video training on the green and the gold board in place of the webinar that we were trying to, to do but we, we couldn't get the streaming to be good enough quality for you so um, I know you don't want to wait to, to you know the next webinar so we're giving this information now for those of you that are you know interested in finding out exactly how the green and the gold board work and getting your questions answered. So hopefully this, this video is hopefully going to do that. Now we are in a members, this is a real members back office of course, we do have permission and it, this is a simple genealogy but still able to show you everything that's going on. Those of you that have got you know, larger genealogies, it's this, just the same principle that you would apply right the way down. So the first thing that we do is um, when we're looking on the genealogy, if we click the link here we're going to be able to open up the actual genealogy and we have the personally sponsored members that if we click on those links that would open up further down and further down. Now in this case, you know, this, this member's personal referrals don't actually have any referrals of their own. But if they did, we would click these links and that would open up theirs and then we could go right, drill right down through the genealogy and view everybody's boards. So um, this member has two personal referrals. He has one on the gold board and one on the green board. Now because this member is actually on a gold board, if he refers somebody now, the system is going to find his closest possible related downline member on a green board. And closest possible related means a personal referral. But if he didn't have any personal referrals on the green board, in other words, they had all already gone to the gold board, the system would find his personal referrals, referrals, and so on down to find the closest related downline to him. It also goes by time and date stamp. So if this member here had two personal referrals on a green board in his genealogy, the system would place his next referral on the one that actually joined first, time and date stamp. Okay, so if he had Karen and then let's say he also had another one, let's say Jim, who joined after Karen, the system is still going to place Jake's this member here, personal referral on Karen's board. And in fact, it would go right here because the boards fill from left to right, top to bottom, left to right. Okay, so this is going to help Karen to cycle. Now, spillover is not guaranteed. If you get it, it's a bonus, but it's not something that you should be looking at, at definitely getting. It, it is a feature that does create a lot more cycles in our system. You know, it's a unique feature that we have spillover coming back, um, coming back the way uh, to a previous board is unique. Um, but again, uh, you know, I've been in this industry a long time, um, I've been in, in programs with similar plans to this. I've never looked for or expected any spillover. Um, and in fact, I don't really think I've ever had any. So it's not something that you should be sitting and waiting to get, put it that way. Um, you may get it and you may not get it um, and you may get it but have to wait. So it's far better to, you know, to go ahead, try and refer a couple of people. The conference calls are working very, very well for this. I mean, we see a, a big spike in uh, registrations after the conference calls. So, you know, we know they are working. So inviting people to the conference calls, we do have recordings of those calls as well that get sent out by email that you can send to your prospects. And also, of course, invite them to look at your replicated website. These are the things we have right now. And of course, the training is going to be in place, your, rep, your lead capture pages, with their automatic follow-up system, all these things that you're going to have. But, you know, rather than wait, use the tools that we have right now to help you to refer, um, you know, two members to PCM as your own personal referrals. Because spillover is great, excuse me, <clears throat> and you can also get spillover on the gold board. Um, and in fact, this particular member also did get some spillover on the gold board as well. Um, but you can get spillover on the gold board to help you to cycle. You may, you may not, it's not guaranteed, but even if you do, it's not a sustainable way to keep on earning those $900 over and over again. The sustainable way to do that is to have your own personal referrals who follow you to the gold board and then follow, and then when they cycle the gold board, they cycle back to your gold board to help you earn your next $900. That's a sustainable way to actually keep on regularly earning the $900 and that's what this is all about. Okay, so back to the, the purpose of this training. And let's look at um, um, a couple of scenarios here. Now, let's say that Karen does cycle to the, to the gold board following her sponsor through spillover alone. So she has no downline at all. 
on the green board. So what happens when she refers someone now? Well, this is another unique special feature here that we have of this plan. The people that she refers <clears throat> will actually go to help the people that helped her to cycle in the first place. So, in fact, you know, she cycled through the spillover and when she gets her downline of her own, her, her true referrals of her own, they will go to, of course, they must start on the green board and they will help the people that helped her to cycle. But one very important thing to remember is that your personal referral will always go to your gold board. So regardless of, you know, irrespective of who they helped on the gold board, it will be your, on the green board, sorry, it'll be your gold board that they go to, excuse me, <clears throat> when they cycle. And that's always the case. Now, another scenario here, uh, j just just let's, let's take the scenario is of somebody going ahead of the sponsor. Now, this happens and, you know, quite rightly so, we cannot stop people from earning their first $900 before their sponsor. And we've all seen it happening quite a few times already. So if somebody's working faster than their sponsor, they can't be penalized by being held back. However, um, that does that is not to say that you should be worried about sponsoring somebody who's going to work faster than you because it will work in your favor when you get to the gold board because what happens is that let's let's go and and you know use an example here of Karen let's say that Karen she refers somebody called Sally and Sally you know goes here in the first available spot on her green board but Sally is a, a go-getter so Sally gets her she, she responses two people right away and she goes to that gold board. Where is she going to go? Well, she's actually going to go to Karen's sponsor's gold board. That will be Jake. But it's only temporary because when Karen uh, cycles to the gold board herself, Sally will come back to her. So Karen's on the gold board. You know, she gets the gold board. When Sally cycles to the gold board, she comes back to Karen. Now, this is actually a good thing because you can have um, a referral who does go ahead of you initially, earns their first $900, but they come back and help you help to fill up your gold board so that you earn your first $900. And we've seen this happening you know, a number of times already here in the system. So it's certainly nothing. You certainly shouldn't hold back sponsoring somebody because you think that person is going to you know go ahead of you and get their first nine hundred dollars before you that is not the way to, to look at this at all okay um now this is going to help the people who are going to be interested in analyzing their genealogy so that they can control um their next nine hundred dollar cycle and you can do this via the genealogy the first, uh, the first uh, way to actually do it, of course, is to um, look at who will get the, the automatic spillover. So, for example, um, if you're on a gold board and you know you're you refer somebody, you can look at your genealogy to see, and you will know um, through this training. We're talking about close as possible downline, then time and date stamp. You will know who that referral will land on with the automatic spillover. But the other way to do it is you may be interested in helping the people who are actually helping themselves. In other words, you may look through your uh, genealogy and see the people who actually have, you know, started to work in the business and they have a one personal referral, but they don't have two yet. They're still on a gold board. You may decide that you want to help that person cycle to your gold board next. So what you would do in this case, if they were not, if they were not in line for the automa uh, automatic spillover next, what you would do is you would actually sponsor your next person on your green board members referral link. So for example, let's say that um, this member here, Jake, has two referrals on the green board. One is Karen, you see there, and we have an imaginary one called Jim. But Jim has referred somebody. So Karen has nobody on her green board, but Jim has two. Now, Jake might decide, Jim has one, sorry, excuse me. Jake might decide that he wants to, um, it's going to be faster for him, for Jake, okay, for one thing. And he also wants to help Jim to get through to that gold board next, following him. So he will take Jim's referral link and he will use that referral link to sign up his Jake's next person. Now, obviously, by doing that, you're giving away a referral and that's something it has to be a personal choice and a personal decision um, whether or not you want to do that. But that is something you can do in your genealogy. So you can look through your genealogy, see who 
you know, is going to cycle, it, you know, maybe easier for you to look at somebody with one already on there and decide, you know, help that person cycle next. And it may be easier for you just to allow the automatic spillover to take place. So that's again, that's got to be something that you've got to decide for yourself. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, to do with, you know, discussing things with your team members, et cetera, et cetera. So there are two ways to do this. One is the analytical way like this. Uh, and the other is just the, what you know, we, we have many members who would not be interested in analyzing the genealogy at all. And they just prefer to invite um, and share the opportunity with others and do very, very well like that. Some people will do better like that and others will do better by analyzing and doing it that way. So I hope that helps. I think I've covered all the, the possible scenarios and I hope that really helps you to understand how this works and um, how you can look at this if you wish to and you can see where um, the next member would fall if it were if they were to receive spillover from you and of course you know as you get the hang of this you can see that you can look at your referrals referrals and you can you know you can look and see what would happen there as well um, but you know again it, it's a choice you don't have to do this you can just share the opportunity with others and still do very very well it's just for those who would like to control this and those who are going to say, okay, I want to earn, I want to earn X amount. I would like to earn $900 a week or twice a week or three times a week or once a day, whatever it is. And so they are working on that genealogy and knowing what their next action is going to be in order to fill that next spot on their gold board or complete that gold board. All right. So I hope that has really helped you. If you are, if you do still have questions, um, if there's anything that you've not understood about this, just listen to the video again. But if you do still have a question, if you if you have a genealogy, I think that's what I'm trying to say, and you have something on it that you still think, okay, I still don't quite understand this bit, then by all means send a support ticket in. If it does require us going through a large genealogy, then obviously, you know, you might have to wait a day or something for a reply. But, you know, if there's something that you're still not sure of after going through this video a couple of times, then by all means do that. Okay, folks, uh, thank you for watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye for now.